Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Real Talk. I'm your host Pat Brock and we are here on the campus of the Dublin High School Irish and we've got the Lady Irish Volleyball team with us. Hi girls! Hi. <laughs> they, they are waiting in the wings to talk with us and we are so excited to have their coach with us. Coach Fan, how are you today? I'm doing awesome. Just awesome. Good to see you, Coach, and thank you for taking a moment of your time to speak with us today. Thank you. All right. Now, Coach, we want to hear all about you. Tell us about your career, how you started out playing sports yourself and, to, and take us to where you are today. Oh, I've been playing sports all my life. Mm -hmm. um, definitely high school, mm -hmm. um, basketball, softball, and track. Um, had opportunity for a basketball scholarship, um, graduating. And um, just truthfully, just being a part of the game. Mm -hmm. I coached five years as a community coach at Johnson County. Um, been to a Final Four in girls basketball. Nice. Um, won several middle school championships. And what brought me to Dublin 15 years later, mm -hmm. um, I wanted to be closer to home after right. my two years of teaching um, in other towns. Right, right. So this way, um, I'm, I'm at home. I feel mm -hmm. happy here. And um, when I was hired, they said they need a volleyball coach. <laughs> And you said, hmm. so, I know, right? Because <laughs> people know me, they know me for basketball right, and, right. Um, and track, and that, that, that's, that's in my blood. But volleyball was new territory, uh -huh, uh -huh. very much new territory. I had to self-teach myself, or self, right, be self-taught, right, right. rather. Um, it's been an experience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's always a transition. And we've spoken to several volleyball coaches and some who aren't necessarily uh, in that field mm -hmm. and how you have to learn and how you mm -hmm. have to grow um, mm -hmm. as you go, so to speak. Yes, it's been um, very challenging. Uh, but once I picked it up and mm -hmm. started watching it, and uh, especially on the weekends, it's fun. It's yeah. really fun. Um, I've enjoyed, I wish I could be more active in it like right. I do with basketball now. Mm -hmm. But um, but it's awesome, though, to see the girls, especially uh, several of my players, just really uh, talented, mm -hmm. very talented, that can really get down and hit the floor and, and make the digs and the yeah. spikes. Um, it's been a great transition. I call it, we've been thrown into a blended family. Yes, <laughs> well, welcome back. Welcome back home. Now tell us about the team this year. Tell us about the girls. Oh, I have a assortment of players. I got mm -hmm. a lot of height, um, right. a lot of new newbies on the team. We call mm -hmm. them newbies. Right. Um, that's we really trying to get the fundamentals down. Mm -hmm. um, we've been together since August the sixth. Mm -hmm. So I say seventeen practice. Um, we've won three region games. We lost re three region games. Right. And the games that we have lost, uh, we're definitely close. Mm -hmm. We had an opportunity to play Mary Person, which is a quad A school, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we took them five games. So it was nice. in the fifth game that mm -hmm. uh, we actually lost to them. So. We we're actually doing like I guess you could say like a mini camp this yeah, year. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they, yeah, and the girls are all uh, brilliant, um, minded girls. Mm -hmm. I have some girls that are in better, um, some girls that uh, participate in other sports. Mm -hmm. uh, three of my girls actually play basketball. Very good. Uh, so it's uh, it's awesome to have your basketball players to come over and play. That's right. Volleyball with and you. And that's helping you all get used to one another. Yes, yes. And it definitely, um, um, I've earned my respect around the campus mm -hmm. for his, uh, uh, definitely the basketball and volleyball coach. Very good. And so, Coach, if you had to tell us what your coaching philosophy is or your style of coaching, what would it be? Actually, to give the girls, I think, what I didn't get in high school. Mm -hmm. um, that is, have a coach that actually wants to see them go to the next level. Right. I'm definitely into trying to get girls recruited. I like to build a program, just not an individual or mm -hmm. a team. I would like to build a program that once these girls go on, uh, they can pay it forward right, uh, after right. college and come back and come back to the community. And then we'll be de definitely going down to middle school. Mm -hmm. um, being the volleyball coach next year as well, I'll be going to the middle school to start that program up there. Very good. Uh, bringing in some camps. Um, I believe in camps. Mm -hmm. I believe in bringing other people in to assist you and make your girls better. Right. And stop, you know, uh, sometimes coaches get caught up in their own mm -hmm. ego or philosophy. Mm -hmm. so so definitely make the, the community and in, community involved That's as right. well as helping these girls and with the families that we can just have a great team here. Very good. Well, we're pleased to have you here, Coach. And now we're going to have an opportunity to meet these young ladies that you've been speaking so. And, and tell us some of the highlights from the players that you've had this year. Oh, wow. The highlight is how we went from, you know, when you first get into a marriage or a, or a family, everybody like at each other's throat. Right. Now we're down to maybe one or two incidents. Mm -hmm. uh, we are getting a ch chance to understand one another and what right. 
makes them become better players. Right. Yeah. Um, learning to take self criticism, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. um, evaluation, and what have you. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's good. And you know, it's always going to take some time when you transition like this and, mm -hmm. and having to get acclimated and used to, to your style of coaching mm -hmm. and their style of playing mm -hmm. and how they process things. Yeah. So, so this is all a learning experience, too. Yes, it is. And definitely, you know, mentally. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I think uh, with female sports, and I think you agree, is that we're not taught the game for us the IQ level. Mm -hmm. What the thing, what's going to happen next if I do this and that. So um, even after uh, the day we're bringing in someone to teach us the different aspects of the game and teach mm -hmm. me as well, mm -hmm. especially the rules of volleyball, what right. we can do and what we can't do. Um, definitely we are looking at being in the top region of hopefully going to state mm -hmm. playoff this year for the first time ever. That would be so awesome. Yes. And we as a community would love to see you there. Oh, I, we, I, I claimed it already. All right. <laughs> Amen. We do too. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the head coach of the Dublin High School Irish Volleyball Team, Coach Fan. Portions of this program are brought to you in part by Dale Nifong, your State Farm Insurance agent. Located just off Hillcrest at 103 Darsa Drive in Dublin. Call for a quote today. Join Piggly Wiggly in the celebration of our 100th anniversary, and the celebration is spreading throughout our community with a renewed pride in our hometown grocer, Piggly Wiggly. 100 years of great product and great customer service. Piggly Wiggly is where you'll find everything from the freshest in produce to 100% certified Angus beef. The only certified Angus beef dealer in Lawrence County. Piggly Wiggly, down home, down the street. Thanks for joining us in our 100th anniversary celebration. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, and we are here with the Lady Irish Volleyball Team, and now it's your opportunity to meet them and see what they've got going on over here. How you doing, girls? Doing good. Good to see you both. All right, we're gonna start with my niece right here. Hey, Sugar Plum. Hey. <laughs> All right, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone, tell us about your family and things that you've been involved in, okay, and other sports and other things like that, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, very good. All right, my name is Tamaya DeVoe. I'm in ninth grade, and um, my dad is Roger DeVoe, and my mom is Amy DeVoe. And some of the stuff that I'm involved in at school is Beta Club, FCCLA, Student Council, and I did, I plan on doing tennis and volleyball. Very nice, just a little busy bee. And then a two your oratorical things that you do as well. Yes, now tell us, Tamaya, how do you keep everything balanced with your life? with everything that you have going on? Sometimes I just have to give myself like a little reminder. Sometimes I might have like an organizer so I can keep my stuff planned. Mm -hmm. And I always make sure that my academic stuff come first. Very good, so you know how to prioritize and keep everything together. Yes, ma'am. All right, very nice. Well, hey, darling. Hey. <laughs> this is for you, this is your floor, this is the floor. Okay, hey, my name is Kayla Vickers. I'm in ninth grade, I play volleyball, soccer, cross country, and I'm planning on playing tennis. And my mom is Sonia Vickers, and I'm in Beta Club in FCCLA. Lord have mercy. <laughs> As I'm listening to you call out all of these things, that is wonderful. Have you always been involved like that with sports and different things? Yes, ma'am. My um, favorite sport is soccer. I've been playing since I was four, so. Very nice. You know, I'm a soccer mama, too. <laughs> and, you know, here it is. You've transitioned from the middle school to high school. How's that transition been for you? Well, it's fine to me. I like it. I like being in high school. Mm -hmm. Has anything changed? Like, is it the same atmosphere for you, or you've adjusted very nicely? Well, I've adjusted very nicely. Yeah. Very good. What about you? Um, I have to say the same thing. It's, it's a good change. Mm -hmm. It's better than the middle school to me. And, yeah, uh, it's nothing really different. Good. And the thing is, as you get older, there is a transition that takes place. And so now you all are high schoolers. How is it for you uh, playing uh, with your peers that are in higher grades, playing with seniors? Well, it's fun to me. It's a great experience because you meet new people mm -hmm. playing sports and stuff, and it's really fun. That's good. And speaking of that, um, when you play sports and you're involved in a lot of things, I myself personally believe that that helps you to become a better person. Yes, You know, it helps you to be more well-rounded. Do you see that in yourself? Yes, ma'am. You do see that? And you as well? Yes, ma'am. In what ways do you see that uh, being involved in the clubs, being involved in the athletics, and, and speaking in front of large groups, how has that helped you? Well, speaking in front of large groups, 
people really would not think that I would because I'm so quiet. Mm -hmm. But it's like when I get in front of a bunch of people and you give me a topic, yeah. I just speak forever, like with the oratorical speech mm -hmm. contest. And being in clubs, like um, Kelly said, it's a good way to meet new people. And right. doing sports, you're able to be well-rounded and not just about academics. Very good. I'm going to let you answer that question, too. Where have you seen yourself like in areas of improving by being involved in so many different things? Well, it helps me. It helps me to organize and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it also, it, um, it helps me like to maintain my grades and stuff because yeah. I know like if I'm not doing good with my schoolwork, mm -hmm. then I won't be able to play a sport and stuff. And, and you know, and that has something to do with your home training too, doesn't it? You yes, know, to make sure. And so tell us about your support system because, you know, involved in all of these different sports, all of these different activities, you got to have someone to get you there. You got to have someone, you know, if you need to have something purchased, they got to be able to get that for you. Tell us about how important it is for you to have a good support system. Um, my parents and my grandparents, the team and our coach have been my support system. Very nice, very nice. What about you? Yeah, my mom and the team and everyone, they support me and my mom's always at my games like, go Kayla! Yes, she is. <laughs> and you know I know your mama. <laughs> very good. Well listen, it's a pleasure to see both of you. So proud of you to know that I taught you drama at least one year in your life and to see um, how you're blossoming is really truly special. All right, good to see you both. Okay. Thank you, sweeties. <laughs> Love these girls here very much. Hello, hello, hello. Come on right in here. How are you girls doing? Good. How are you? Doing well. All right, Robin, we'll start with you. Introduce yourself and tell us all about you, your family, and things that you're involved in, okay? Yes, ma'am. Um, I am in ninth grade. Mm -hmm. I participate in Air Force ROTC, um, FCCLA. Mm -hmm. Volleyball. Volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> yes, volleyball. Um, student council, beta club, book club. Wow. Uh, I think that's it. You think so? I mean, that's a pretty good list right there. Yeah. And so tell us, uh, what has been, uh, what have you loved most about your high school years? Well, it's my first year, yeah. and we've only been here for a month. There you go. <laughs> but um, I've enjoyed it so far. Yeah. It's, it's very different from middle school. I'll, I'll give it that. And you're involved in several different things. Mm -hmm. Have you always been very involved, or are you kind of just now getting to do more things? I would like to say I did a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I think I did, but this year I've really just kind of pushed it and did everything I could sign up for. <laughs> I don't think my mom knows I'm doing half the stuff I did. She's about to find out, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi, darling. Hi. Talk to us. Um, my name is Kyra Daniels. I'm the parents of Martina Hunt and Charlie Daniels. Um, I am currently involved in Air Force JROTC mm -hmm. and um, the sports I play are volleyball and I also run track. Very good. You know, when you talk about um, the JRTC, I mean, that teaches you quite a bit of discipline. Do you learn, uh, what all do you learn being a part of that? You learn about being responsible mm -hmm. and you learn how, learn how to be, how to have integrity mm -hmm. and that's actually. Those things right there go a long way. Yes, ma'am. And so how is it, now you've got a new coach here for volleyball, and, and so how is it um, learning from Coach Fan with her coaching style and the way you are as a player? Well, um, the middle school doesn't have a volleyball team. Mm -hmm. So when we, us freshmen come in and we start playing volleyball, yeah. we're learning, and she's also learning. But it's fun to see the type of coach she is because mm -hmm. I don't play basketball, but the basketball girls are really in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> And so, uh, and so with you as a player, um, if you could kind of tell us some pros about you, some good things about you as an athlete, and things that you definitely are working on, we'll ask you that too. What would that be? Well, I'm not much of an athlete, but mm -hmm. I really am trying. I think that I, I'm doing, I'm trying my best. I'm not yeah. the best player, definitely mm -hmm. not. And I do have a lot of stuff I could work on. Yeah. But with extra practice and help from the upperclassmen. Mm -hmm. They're very great. Um, I can be the player I want to be. Very good, very good. What about you, darling? Um, I am a very competitive player. Are you? I, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I don't like to lose. Uh -huh. and, um, Who does, though? <laughs> <laughs> and so I learn from my mistakes now. And yeah. um, now it's 
It's okay. How do you do when you lose though? Seriously, how do you how do you get? Well, I don't. It's not that bad, but mm -hmm. I I'm quiet. You go to a closed place. Yes, ma'am. By yourself. Yes, ma'am. In the corner. Don't talk to me. <laughs> don't give me a pep talk. Just let me be. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> But that's all right, you know, girls. And so we're glad that one, that you yourself are learning and you're growing. You're allowing yourself to grow. You're allowing yourself to be coachable, yes, which is a wonderful thing. That's key to being a great athlete. Yes, all right. And for you, I mean, you're able to identify where you are yes, and you know where you need to be. And so and I appreciate your realness with that. We look forward to seeing you out here. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you, ladies. Yes, ma'am. Good to see you both. Very nice. These girls right here, well, 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 oh, all these familiar faces. I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Good to see you both. Good to see you too. I missed y'all. I missed you, guys. <laughs> all right, you start off with everybody. You tell us who you are. Okay. What grade cool. you're in, who your family is. Come on back then. Hi, I'm Mara Hodge. I'm in 10th grade, and this is my second year doing volleyball. My parents are Wendy and Robbie Hodge. Um, I play volleyball. I plan on doing tennis, and I'm in JRTC, but I'm open to new things. So. You are. Very good. And that's good that you're open to new things. And I think that I've always seen that in you, that you've been <laughs> open to new things, which is nice. But it, that's not, you've always been that way. Yes, ma'am. Where do you think you get that from? Uh, my mom, probably. Your mama. She's crazy. <laughs> what about your grandmama? <laughs> She's crazy, too. We're all crazy. <laughs> so. Very good. Good to see you, Myra. All right, darling, talk to us. Hi, my name is Tatiana Payne. I'm the daughter of Kiwa Foster and J. Verica Payne. Um, I'm a dancer. This is my first year of volleyball. I'm also a cheerleader and also an actress. I used to dance for Miss Pat, being yes. Caillou yes. and the double middle. So it's been a wonderful, wonderful years that's, of my childhood. That's good. And you know, I have seen, witnessed these two ladies uh, perform, dance, act. I mean, you two, um, the way you retain things is pretty special. And so, and to see you out here on a volleyball court, I was just tickled pink to see that. And so, but that's good. And so, uh, you're now sophomores. How did your, how did your freshman year go for you? Well, I was the baby, and but they also helped me out. Yeah. And we have a new coach now, so mm -hmm. she's helped out a lot. That's good. That's good. How was your freshman year? Oh, it was rough. <laughs> <laughs> it was rough, especially in trying to fit in. Like mm -hmm. I went through a whole lot, but I'm yeah. it's, I'm a recover. That's good. It, so. She's a recovering recovering freshman now you're a sophomore and and that's good I and mean, i think that that's part of it because anytime you transition there's going to be some newness that comes to play and now you girls playing volleyball this your second year your first year um i also became first the player of the week too player of the well, okay so then all right let me just let me just do this congratulations and so tell me girls tell us about this now so what is it about you two that make you uh that someone could actually look up to you as a role model in the things that you do, Miss Player of the Week. Yes. I try to be there for the, I try to be a leader. Mm -hmm. And I'm also trying to be there for others. And yeah, we're all learning, so. Right, right, very we good. We can help each other. That's right. What about you? I try to, you know, when things, you know, when they get a little frustrated, mm -hmm. I try to be the one that comes to them, you know, come to them because, you know, I'm not perfect for myself. Right. So I try to kind of, you know, we're going to get this together. Mm -hmm. This is our first year, so, you know, it's going to get better along the way. That's right. And if you all work together, they, all, you know, teamwork does make the dream work. If you all work together, even though um, you all are learning one another, you have a new coach, sometimes it's your first year playing this sport. If you're able to work together and really become a team to jail off this court, you'll be able to jail on the court. Very good. All right, any last words that you'd like to give to the people out there of Dublin, Lawrence County? Um, I don't think so. You're good, Myra. Hi, Mom. There you go. <laughs> I just like to say, I want to be an Air Force pediatrician, so I always like, follow your dreams, stay in school, stay away from drugs, and, you know, live a happy life. Very happy. good. Perfect. <laughs> she agrees. Thank you so much. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, after this commercial break. Hi, I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Lawrence County. If you're presently a customer of ours, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to be your bank. 
We appreciate the confidence you have placed in us and enjoy providing you with the most up-to-date banking products and services to satisfy your needs. If you're not a current customer, we would like to invite you to stop by and let us show you true community banking at its best. We concentrate on our local community, doing our part to make Dublin and Lawrence County a better place to live, work, play, and retire. We recently introduced two new products, eStatements and Access Now, our mobile banking app. Both of these products will help to make banking with us more convenient and will also help to provide you with a safer and more secure banking experience. So for all your banking needs, just give us a call or stop by and let us show you personal banking at its best. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Cullen Supply and Engine Service, your steel dealer at 826 South Harris Street in Sandersville and 910 East Jackson in Dublin. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with the Lady Irish Volleyball Team, and we've got two more gals with us, gorgeous gals. How are you? Good, good. Good to see you, too. Good to see you, too. We know you've been anxiously waiting to talk to me, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, the floor is all yours, darling. Hi, my name is Terriana Roger, and I'm the daughter of Tuala Washington and Terrence Roger. I'm a senior at Dublin High School. Um, I'm quite an athlete. Nice. I'm, Tell us what sports, what sports? Well, I play volleyball. This is my first year playing volleyball. Mm -hmm. um, I don't play basketball for five years, mm -hmm. my eighth grade year and my high school years. Right. Um, I don't run track before, and I plan on running track again. I played tennis, but I stopped because of an injury. Mm -hmm. How are you doing now with the injury? I'm recovering. You're recovering. You got to take it easy, okay? What made you decide to want to play volleyball? Because Bridget Wooden, she's like, <laughs> she's been wanting us to play, so I was like, I might as well give it a shot and help out the team. Very good. And you say you're quite the athlete. What is it about you that makes you quite the athlete? Because, like, because. <laughs> I. Tell us, what is, it, what is it that makes you quite the athlete? Because, you know, there's a lot of qualities that a person, I believe, needs to possess, of course, along with the skills, along with that talent. What is it that makes you quite the athlete? Well, I'm smart, so being an athlete, you have to be smart in school so mm -hmm. you can keep furthering your career and your athleticism mm -hmm. when you get older. Um, I'm good at sports, like, um, I'm, I hustle. Mm -hmm. I, just do everything I could to help out the team. Very good. And, and what position are you for basketball? Point guard. You better get it, honey. <laughs> and listen, as the point guard, I mean, there's a lot that's expected of you. There's a lot that's riding on you. Do you ever feel a sense of pressure in that position? Yes, a lot. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. But you know, um, and, and also uh, there's an expectation put on you too to definitely be a leader. And so you see yourself as that leader, right? Yes, ma'am. Very good. All right, sweetie, you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, talk to us. Hello, my name is Alexis Carr. I'm the daughter of Willie Carr. I've been playing volleyball. This is my first year mm -hmm. playing because they get in shape for um, basketball. I've mm -hmm. been playing for six years, since my seventh grade year. For basketball? Yes, Very nice. And so um, who in your family plays basketball? No, nope, just me and my brother. All right, you and your brother. And so. All these years you've been here at Dublin, right? Yes, ma'am. How's that experience been for you here as an Irish? I bleed green and gold. I love it, and I went go to no other high school. No other high school. And so your first year playing volleyball, who talked you into playing volleyball? Bridget. Bridget. No. <laughs> so Bridget is the one that's been convincing everyone to play volleyball. And so with you out here, tell us how that's been for you. Um, I mean. It be hurting sometimes, but hurting. <laughs> when I be falling, it yeah, be hurting yeah. cause like my knees, they ain't really good. Right. What position are you? It ain't no position in um, volleyball. It just rotating all around. Well, actually there are positions, but this is the thing. Are you up to the net? 
Yes, man. I like being up there so I can spike them a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. And but think about it too. With this being your first year, you're definitely learning, right? You're having to learn the game. You're having to learn how um, how the players move and the different um, tactics, techniques, and stuff that you'll need to have as a volleyball player. Very good. And now, listen. Uh, are you both seniors? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Okay. So this expectation that's up here about you. Tell us about you as a leader. What makes you a good leader and a role model for other girls to follow? Well, basketball, I, I want to be like a big leader. I want to help out like people that's around the perimeter shooting because mm -hmm. that's what I'm good at. And I want to um, make it far this year that's than good. we did last year. What position are you for basketball? The two and the three. Very good, two and three. And so girls, um, as an athlete, whether you're on the basketball court playing basketball or whether you're playing volleyball, there still uh, needs to be a consistency about you as a player, okay? And so we want you to kind of give some words to uh, encourage some of the younger players out there because you see yourself as a leader and both of you who've been playing basketball for the longest, you know, you see yourself as a leader on the basketball court. Give a message to the young girls out there to encourage them then as athletes. Well, don't be scared to come out and try out. Everybody's nice. You'll learn. Like, it's easy. We'll help you through everything. You right. don't have to be scared. Very good. Well, just come out and play. Mm hmm Come yeah. out and play. And You're so, welcome. <laughs> welcome to come out. Mm -hmm. And girls, this is your senior year, so a lot of, lot of last things that you're going to be doing. And so, um, what is going to be next for you after high school? I want to go to college. I want to go to either Kennesaw or Vadasta State. I want to major in nursing. I want to be a nurse practitioner when I get older. Very nice. You think you'll want to play the game of basketball or volleyball? Yes. If I get a scholarship, I'm willing to. Very good. My son's an owl. He just started last month, so that's going to be awesome. All right, what about you? What's next for you after high school? I want to go to either Fort Valley or Georgia Southern. Mm -hmm. And I want to um, get a scholarship for basketball. And I, if I don't like make it out, mm -hmm. I'll be a uh, physical therapist. Very good. Well, either way, we wish nothing but the best for you both, okay? Thank you, ladies. Have a good senior year. All right. Come on in. Come on in. Hi, girls. Hey. <laughs> good to see you. Hello. Good to see you both. Listen, this is your opportunity to share with us about you girls. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, go for it. Hi, my name is Bridget Wooden, and I'm the daughter of Carlos Wooden. Tell us about some things that you're involved in other than recruitment for, for volleyball <laughs> players. <laughs> I'm also a basketball player. I've been playing since I was in the 10th grade. Very nice. And are, do you ha are you involved in any clubs or any kind of volunteer service outside of school? Um, I did FBLA last year. I also attend GMC. Dual enrollment. How, yes, how's that transition been, being a college mm -hmm. student and high school? It's not hard. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, when they think college, they think hard. It's just that it's a lot of responsibility, so right. a lot of homework. So you kind of got to be on it, be able to balance sports. And right. Are you balancing work. everything okay, though? I mean, yes, do you procrastinate or you kind of get it no, done? No, I, I try and get it done that day in class since mm -hmm. you know you got to go to practice afterwards. Look at so. you. Very <laughs> smart. So when did you start your recruitment duties as a volleyball recruiter? Well, Anna and Lex are very athletic girls, so mm -hmm. I don't want them to play volleyball since I first started playing. Yeah. So I'm just like, y'all, come on out. They're just like, eh, you know, they were iffy about it. So I finally got them to get it their senior year, mm -hmm. and they caught on pretty fast. But, you know, they are athletic. They're, you know, they yeah. hustle, they mm -hmm. get, go for the ball, and they, they learn it pretty fast. Very good. So. That's good. And so, and that's good that you're an advocate that way. And tell us how long you've been playing um, your other sport. Um, I started playing volleyball in the 10th grade. Nice. And basketball? 10th grade as well. Very nice. And so here it is. You're an Irish. Yes, ma'am. The girls tell us, you know, they bleed green and gold. Of course. You as well, correct? Yes, ma'am. All right. Tell us something special about you that makes you a good leader to these young girls that are here watching you. Well, everybody messes up. So mm -hmm. whenever somebody does mess up, you know, we give them constructive criticism. You know, right. there are sometimes we're like, yeah, like, you know, you got to get it. But, you know, mm -hmm. we say, hey, you got it next time, you know? Right, right, so. right. And that's good. Good to hear. All right, you ready? Yes, ma'am. Go for it. I am Evelyn Inman, the daughter of Douglas Inman and Katrina Inman. I am in beta. Um, mm -hmm. I play tennis, first doubles. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in the art club. I'm the deputy court commander of Jared C. Um, so much more. <laughs> so much more. Just I, so much. Just so much more. Hard to think about that, right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. And, 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 you know, being involved in all these different things, uh, what has been the highlight 
with all the things that you've been doing, your high school careers, what has been the highlight of your high school career? Learning how to lead, learning how to prioritize schoolwork, mm -hmm. you know, athletic work, stuff like that. Very good. What about you? What's been your highlight? Jeez. Jeez. I can only say, I mean, I love volleyball. It's my heart. Yeah. So I would say my highlight was getting MVP last year. What? I'm going to give it, put it late right there. Very good. I mean, you know, and girls, and this is the thing right here. This is the thing. We have a lot of things that we do that we're involved in in high school. Yes, ma'am. And, you know, after high school's over, those are going to be your memories. And so you want to be able to have impacted lives while you've been here. You want to be able to impact lives. And so do you feel that you've done that? Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. In what ways have you done that? Well, personally, me, um, with my training in JRTC, I mm -hmm. stay, I do the extra mile. Yeah. You know, after school, during school, mm -hmm. we do the discipline, like the running, the, mm -hmm. you know, um, physical training, all of that, the drilling and self-discipline. Very good. What about you? What ways have you? I forgot the question. That's all right. That's all right. So you see the things that you're involved in, it's key, it teaches you discipline. Yes, it teaches you how to work hard. And you being MVP last year, for one, your bar is set here already. Yes, ma'am. Okay? So you're only going up. And with that going up, you got to make sure that you take people with you. Of course. All right? And so that's what I'm talking about when I say be able to impact the lives of these younger girls to mentor them. Do you still see some areas that you need to grow as an athlete? Of course. Um, there's times where in the game I get mad and mm -hmm. I kind of lose my cool. And I yeah. have my co-captain Evelyn or yeah. Rodravia Wright to help me out and say, hey, it's cool. Like, mm -hmm. So, you know, they help me out as well. But, you know, when you have the leader that, you know, tends to fall off, the rest of the team tends to fall off too. So I have to work on keeping myself together. Yeah, very mm -hmm. good, very good. All right, girls, so this senior year, you know, it seems like it's going to fly by. 11th. You're 11th grade. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 12th. 12th grade. All right, for your senior year, yes, it's flying by. Yes, ma'am. Flying by. And you'll be a senior before too long. So tell us what you want to do after high school's over. Well, um, after high school, I would like to pursue a volleyball career, but mm -hmm. if I don't, I plan on going to the Army. All right. Either one great choice is you can play volleyball in the Army. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Right. And you, there's a lot expected of you. You have another year as well to be able to set uh, the example for others to follow, and you'll continue that in whatever your career and future holds for you, okay? Yes, ma'am. It's been a pleasure meeting you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Captains, I love, <laughs> love that. All right. Here we go. Well, well, hey, well, good to see you. Good to see you too. All right, so it's just me and you now, huh? We're closing this so down, right? All right, this is your opportunity to share with everybody. Tell us who you are, what grade you're in, your family, things that you've been involved in here, how your career has gone here at, um, as an Irish. You ready? I'm ready. Go for it. All righty, my name is Tony Williams. I'm the daughter of Keisha and Tony Williams. Um, this is actually like my second year playing volleyball. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning. I'm not perfect, right. but I'm learning. Um, when I graduate high school, I want to go to the Army and do something in the medical field, and that's about it. That's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. <laughs> and so tell us, what kind of clubs are you involved in? Are you involved in other sports outside of volleyball? Um, last year, I was in FBLA mm -hmm. and JRTC. I'm actually getting back into JRTC because mm -hmm. I was taking college classes at OFTC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm really taking it easy because I'm focusing more on my schoolwork. Very good. Very good. And now, let me tell you, let me ask you this. You're a senior. Yes. Do you consider yourself a leader? I am. I'm a leader. What is it? Give us some of your qualities now. Some good qualities that, the, that others can emulate and what are things about you that you sincerely know that you have to work on? Okay, I'm very outspoken. I'm intelligent. Um, I'm a helper. Mm -hmm. um, I lead pretty good when it comes down to different situations. Right. I can help anybody no, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. That's good. And much. what things do you have to work on? A little bit of my attitude. Mm -hmm. A little mm -hmm. bit of my attitude. Oh, I believe that. I think I can see that happening. <laughs> but no, that's good. But the thing is, this is the thing, Tony. Like, um, as a senior, you should be at a certain level um, academically, um, inte intellectually, to where one of these young girls, as we're looking at, a freshman, could come to you and say, Tony, I need some advice about something. And I know that that's a heavy mantle 
um, to have. But I think that there is an expectation we do put on seniors. And we do kind of, you know, we put a lot on you sometimes. And so uh, give us the, the highlight of your, your time here at Dublin. And if you can think of some times where you've really impacted someone's life, what would that be? Hmm, that's a lot of thinking. <laughs> um, I know, I know. I really can't tell you anything off the bat because mm -hmm. I have to think for a while. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it is. Um, it just takes some yeah, time to yeah, think about. Yeah, it takes some time. We're just going to wait on that. We're going to let you think about that. Tell us tomorrow or something like okay. that. <laughs> and so volleyball, you know, some girls, this is their first time playing. And so you're definitely going to have to help them with the rules of, of volleyball. Some are, are learning, um, you know, so many different things about it, the technique. What, what things do you have to work on these girls with? Um, basically, their attitude, technique, understanding, mm -hmm. listening, mm -hmm. and that's about it. That's good. How is it being coached by Coach Fan? It's pretty good. You have to be aware. You have to be ready. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say it's easy. Yeah. But you have to be ready. Have to be, have ready. to be ready. Have to be ready. And your senior year, darling, it's going to be a little bittersweet. Some things are, are like the last time you're going to do that. Yeah. And so um, how has this year been going? We know it hasn't been too long since it started. How has it been for you? It's pretty good. It's starting off smooth and easy. Mm -hmm. So, What do you yeah. think you're going to miss about high school? Um, I want to say maybe my teachers, the mm -hmm. people, yeah. the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. You have to come back to it sometime. One day. All right. And so you want to go into the Army. Very nice. That's a great feel. I was an Army wife for 20 years, so I know how that, that road is traveled. And so we wish you nothing but success. It's been a pleasure to talk with you today. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you have met the 2017-2018 uh, Lady Irish volleyball team here. It's been a pleasure to meet some of them for the first time, and some, of course, is getting reacquainted. Um, that's all the time we have for Real Talk. And ladies and gentlemen, please keep watching.